Hi and welcome to Dynamic DCUO. Wind here and today we're going to be running around with Haunting Wind and we're going to be looking at acrobatics. Not just the movement mechanics but also the powers. Now we're going to start with the powers and I'm going to load up all six of the powers into the loadout. We're not going to use the supercharges but with all powers you want to start with your fast movement mode which in this case is a rocket assisted glide and I always take uh, some of these resistance and recoveries um, but they're available to all movement modes so that's not unique to this and again we're not going to use the supercharges which there are two of but you have a single target pull which it does from work from range you can jump in from range for a multi-target you have a single target zip tie attack from range as well the throwing knives are multi-target from range the backflip is multi-target and takes you out into range and then the uh, launching roll, you need to be really up close and personal, and it does more damage than the rest of them. So as you can see, I've got my loadout set for the uh, flip attack in, back flip out, throwing knives, and then I've got the zip cuff attack, which is can be used from range, single target. I've got the launching roll for up close and personal. And I have the pull set to last because I'm gonna use it the least. Again, it's a single target pull, so not quite as effective and it doesn't work on everything just like all pulls but overall this is a lot of fun to use I can see this working really well with martial arts in particular and if you have a combat style or really enjoy the kind of combat where you're moving around a lot then this is also uh, really enjoyable to use and you know again this combined with some of the movement itself like the, the grappling effect uh, the vertical takeoffs ability to see straight down and drop on the targets which we'll get to all that here momentarily it just makes this a lot of fun to use I can definitely see um, integrating this into a loadout just you know to have a lot of fun it may not be the best for you know really strong loadouts so we're going to take it now into the last solo which was Wonderverse that way you can see how it does against some more of the ads as well as a couple bosses but again you know we're not an OP channel we're not about OP loadouts um, just as I'm running, it's doing fine and it's a lot of fun. I would definitely be using, you know, my trinkets and stuff more in normal play. But just to see how these actual powers work, this is a lot of fun. And it still does, you know, passable damage for open world. So, definitely a lot of fun. Now the boss fights, I'm going to show the start and the end of. Uh, when I fight, uh, the end fight, I will show you that I'm using, so I'd use my Soda Cola backup and orbital. But I won't show the whole fight just because you don't want to see this for, you know, three or four minutes. But overall, you know, even against this first boss, doing just fine. Um, I do love that the pull affected him. That's always a lot of fun. But just the ability to get in and out, that, that could be really helpful to, depending on your play style, but to a lot of situations. And again, you know, with the movement itself, being able to stick to walls and stuff, that uh, that could be a lot of fun. Now here against Grail, yeah, um, pretty early on, and that was mainly because of my poor attack strategy. Uh, I have to take Soda Cola because she just kicked the snot out of me in the beginning. But once I take the Soda Cola, um, I'm able to keep up with her for a while. I do end up jumping over to the crystal and uh, activating the crystal, pulled out my backup in my orbital and then it really was no competition. But yeah, this is definitely a lot of fun to play around with. I don't know that I would use, you know, especially all of them for any kind of, you know, loadout on a regular basis, but I could definitely see at least one or two of them being worked into a, at least an open world loadout where I'm running around doing the dailies and stuff. Okay, now for movement mode mechanics. So, turn on movement mode, jump, and hit fast movement mode, and you'll go up into the air and it'll level off after a second and you'll start to glide. Now you can go up and down by pressing forward and back and you go left and right by using the mouse. Now you can come out of movement mode just by you know turning off movement. Now this mode allows you to look straight down while you're flying which is very helpful for looking for collections, bad guys, stuff like that. I also like to hit jump again and flip out of this mode and then hold down jump again and it goes into a regular glide. You can still look left and right with the mouse, uh, but it's descending only, so you will eventually hit the ground. Now this can also be done off of any ledge. Just run and while you're in movement mode, jump off it, and then hit fast, or excuse me, hold down jump, and you'll go into the glide. 
Now with movement mode on, you can also walk up buildings or crawl up them. You can use a grappling hook, which we'll get into in a little more detail here in a second. You can slide down buildings, which I'll show you also in a second. But for this grapple, to go between buildings, um, usually you jump towards it and press and hold jump. And if you're crawling up a building, just press and hold jump. And you'll go up. Now to go down, like I just did, to slide down the building, while you're uh, sitting on the side of the building, just press back and you'll slide straight down. Or you got to hold it and you'll go straight down. Uh, the grapple is great because you can use it while in the air or from the ground. And as you're crawling around, this also provides you the opportunity for stealth. And in some cases, that comes in handy, especially if you like want to avoid a fight. Or if you're looking just to surprise people for a fight, you can crawl around under things and around them. Very Batman kind of feel, which is, of course, what you're going for with this. Now, I love acrobatics. I will admit it has a little bit of a learning curve to get the hang of using the grapnel and using the, um, the glide. But it's definitely worth it. Uh, again, for the grapnel... If you're already on the building, just hold jump and it'll grapnel up. Now, if you're going between buildings like that, then you want to jump and then hold jump again and you'll grapnel straight out. And that's acrobatics. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this kind of content, please click like and subscribe. Click the bell icon to stay notified. Leave us some comments and suggestions. And until next time, happy gaming.